One hypothesis for lifting the blocks is that a block was placed on a board and then raised to the desired height using pulleys and hoists. Louis Kroon proposed the principle of the shaduf, the mechanism used by the Egyptians to draw water. It was a long perch which stood perpendicularly on a wooden upright rod. On one end of the perch hung a leather bottle to collect water, and on the other end a counterweight. According to Kroon, this instrument enabled the stones to be lifted from level to level. They were attached to the end of a lever, so that men, suspended from ropes on the other side, acted as a counterweight. The monoliths, which had to be raised and transported, were placed at the bottom of the transport canal. A boat was positioned over the stone, and when the water filled the canal, the stone was attached to the boat with ropes. Slowly, as the water level rose, the boat and the stone began to float. In this way, the boat could maneuver along the canal without difficulty, transporting the stone, and then, by evacuating the water, the stone would be placed in its position. 